Hi everyone, welcome to another JavaScript live stream on Faraday Academy. I'll be working on a Vue.js app again. First, I want to say that I wanted, or I created a Reddit to, or a subreddit actually, to basically, um, I don't know, interact more and be able to post and have comments and threads and stuff like that. That's linked in the description below, along with my new Instagram, if you want to follow me on those platforms. And I will get to the code. So I'm working out of this same repo that I've been working out of, um, gwenf slash curriculum app. Um, you can find it on my GitHub. And this is the project board that I've been working off of. So you can see I have um, sections Sorry, I have allergies. Um, I've been trying to finish the CRUD operations for some of this functionality. Hey, nobodies, how are you? Hi, I can't read your name, but welcome to the stream. I'm doing well, actually. Um, everything's kind of getting better around here, hopefully, knock on wood. Um, of course, I can't cut my hair and a few other things, but yeah, overall everything is going well. Um, yeah, so these CRUD operations, it's basically, so if you go to the app, you go to the home page, and then you click on view all of the curricula, and then this add section button down here. So you can add a new section and that works because we did that last time, but you can't update and delete sections yet. So that's the part that I need to do today. And to start that off with, or to start with that. Hi, Bello, how are you? Um, I need to create like a pencil and an X icon in these um, headers here. So yeah, let me start with that. I am using um, Viewify Material Icons. So, and I think I'm already using a pencil somewhere else. Let's see. Yeah, I'm using these two icons. So I'm gonna steal these two icons from there. Um, I already have the API made for this and the API is running here on port 5000. And then I have the front end Vue.js running as well. So I'm going to go in the code, let me close the back end, and then let's see, um, okay, to add the icons, in views, I'm on the, I if I should zoom in a little, maybe that's better, uh, I'm on the display curriculum page, and um, let me see where I'm at. Okay, so the template, so I have the header, I have the sections, which are all of these sections, and then I have this form, which toggles. Cancel. Okay. So I have to go into sections with the in component, and I have display curriculum, I have sections, Here are the icons I need, so I'm going to go ahead and copy these. And I need to put them in here, md plus box, um, no actually, so these are the edit icons here to edit the name, goal, and description. So let me go up to the front. So I'm in an, an expansion panel, which is from the Vuetify framework. Um, expansion panel header. So it's going to be, I'm going to have to put it in the header. So you can see I have section one and then name. So it'll have to be after name. Um, wait, so. And then I'll put the icons here. Oh wait, there. Oops. 
Samsung. Man, my Korean is so rusty. I don't know what that says. Sorry. Um, I have taken the last, so I was studying it again at the beginning of the year, and now I haven't been doing it for the last month or so. So, yeah, I need to pick it back up. Okay, I'm going to put a span around here because I'm going to have to, oops, undo. Um, I'm going to have to display these. So let's see. Okay, it doesn't display at all right now. That's fine. Um, no errors there. Also, these two icons, um, I'm going to have to, I guess, put another span around these because I need another section. Hi, Jared. How are you? Oh, exact. My connection is unstable. Oh, is... Oh, the name is Hebrew. Okay. Thanks. Um... Okay. All right, um, one second. Let me try to fix my connection. Let me, that might make it better, hopefully. All right, I did switch to Verizon 5G, so I'm still testing it out. You're not telling me. Yeah, I'm still testing out Verizon. Not sure if I'm going to switch back to AT&T Fiber. We'll see. Um, oh, yeah, I get it now. All right, so let me see why these icons aren't showing up. So I have, um, oh, yeah, I'm going to have an error from those. So let me see. Okay, sure. We'll have a Korean, I don't know, book club or language club or something. All right. Um, well, why aren't they? Let me see. So it shows the span, section one, view basics, and this is the span that I added here. That's right. Doesn't have anything in this span though. Um, so I wonder if I'm only supposed to, is it still buffering? Hi, Abriso. Um, yeah, the only other thing I could do is to run another plug. I do have the box right outside this room, so it's really close. Um, hopefully it fixes itself in the next minute. If not, then... Okay, good. Awesome. Um, maybe I can only pass in one child? I don't know. Let's see what happens if I put all of this inside. Um, oh yeah, div. Good. Nope, and it's still, so why isn't that working? So if I go, um, okay, it's in here. I have the expansion panel. And then I have the header. 
and a div and it okay so now the other span is showing up which is good oh hi Sultan how are you okay thanks I, I like doing live videos especially these VJS ones oh I know because I have display none sweet so now they're showing up awesome and maybe I'll make the text bigger in these to match the icons maybe I'll see okay um, I do want to move the icons over here I think I think that would look better light mode oh dark mode dev tools yeah I saw that I'm gonna try dark mode but I have right now I switch back to solarized in my code editor so um, maybe I'll try it now how do I switch to dark mode oh is it in settings oh dark cool let me try this out can you still see it just as easily yeah it's actually nice thanks maybe I'll switch this to dark too yeah um what was I doing oh yeah I want to move these to the left oh turning off the notification popping sounds sure okay they should be off um, okay so in this div I'm gonna give it a class of um, so in bootstrap this class is justify content between let's see if it's the same in um, let me look at the flex in um, oh beautify let's see I'm gonna search for between and where are oh yeah okay justify space between okay so they randomly say space oh yeah because it's space between or justify content space between okay so they just take the opposite approach of some other frameworks. Oh cool, you're doing vegetarian most of the week. Yeah, I I first switched because I'm lactose intolerant um and I like veggies, but I really like eating vegetarian now. I feel great. Um, no, what happened? Justify space between. Now my icons left. Where did they go? Let's see. In here. Oh, it's... Oh, again, because it's display none. Okay. Um, so it's still not giving me, it's still not giving me them over here. Or maybe they should only show up on hover. Or should the icon stay here in perpetuity? I guess I could keep them here. But then the only problem with keeping them is when the when the panel is it when the panel is closed it looks fine but when the panel also yeah these have to appear on hover because look at this oh, okay buffering again all right i have to fix this um Okay, so I need to make these just pop up on hover because that's what it's doing. You know, these do it too. So, um, let's see, where are the classes for this?
Yeah, true. I don't need to access them all the time. All right. Um, editable icon. Oh, class toggle. Why is this here? Editable icon. Hmm. That's weird. This random color. That's not even a color. Where am I using that? That's got to be a mistake. Um, editable icon. Yeah, I need to get rid of all of these because I'm not using it. It's a mistake. So yeah, let me find and replace. Um, and then replace with, yeah, nothing. Okay, so that's that file. And now here too. So I need to... All right, so I cleaned that up, and now I need to find where I'm styling this toggleable icon. So get rid of that. Yeah, here I'm actually styling this one. Okay, so I have toggleable icon as display none, and then hike, and then hover icon container. And when you hover the container the icon shows. Okay, so I need to give the section header that class. Um, so let me, let me try doing it here and see. Okay, then I'll, I'll get rid of this too. And put the icon container there. Okay, sweet. And yeah. All right, moves around a little, but overall I think it's good. Um, I guess I'll make these wider or I could make the icons smaller, but okay, so when I open this up, the header doesn't look that prominent here. I think I need to make this text bigger, which will also, you know, make this header taller. So let me see what size it is right now. Um, hover icon container, so. Okay, so V expansion panel, expansion panel header. Let's see in computed if they have a font size. Yeah, font size is 15 pixels. So let me try this at 20 pixels and see how it looks. Um, yeah, I could do, so if I wanted them over here, like I was originally saying, it could work. But now I'm thinking since they're on hover, I'll just put them next to the text um, right? I think that's good. Put them next to the text here so you can edit or delete the section. And also, now that I'm thinking about it, this isn't going to work for mobile or for, um, what, what am I going to say? Oh, screen readers. So it's not going to work for those. So I wonder if I click open Maybe I'll have these icons appear. Do you think that's good? If I put these two icons here when you click open as well as hover. Min height. Um, oh, for the, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm working on login. Login isn't working yet, so. Eventually, you will be able to edit. I mean, right now, anyone can edit this, but eventually, yes, you will have to be logged in. So let me change the font size here. And yeah, I'll probably end up setting, I guess, a height for the container too. Good. Uh, font size is 20 pixels. 
Yeah. So I think 20 pixels looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. So let's see. What do I have to overwrite? Font height, font. Um, well, if the library is well done, then. Okay, pull to the right and always show. Okay, I'll do that then. So, I guess I can get rid of these then. Because that's what's causing it to only show up on hover. And then for here, I can say justify content uh, be between. And I might have to do row, row and column for this with this framework. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So I'll put them over here. Um, but yeah, let me see if a row fixes this. So here's the header and well, there's the div. And if it's justify content between, then how come it's not using the whole div? Oh, I'm not displaying. Ah, I need to display flex. That's right. Cause it's display block or whatever right now. Well, that still didn't work. And also this is offset too. So I need to align items now. So let's do align items center. Um, Okay, so display flex. Okay, I'm not sure why it's, hmm. Let's see, why isn't it justify? Oh, I'm still in other framework mode. Okay, so it's just if I space between and this is probably not align item centers but let me try that yay it did it it went over to the side yeah that's so much better sweet okay yeah that was cluttering up the name over here thanks all right so align let me see where align is All right, yeah, it's just a line center. So that's what it is. So let me get rid of items here. All right. Awesome. Sweet. And one more thing, I'm gonna make this text bigger. Yeah. Um, so let's see. I just wanna target this. So I'm going to give this span a class. Let's call it um, class equals section header. Now it's getting too long. So okay, so section header and now so I can't remember. Okay, with sass Okay, so I do have a SAS file for each page. So I'm on the display curriculum page. And look, I don't have any other styles. Oh, right, so I don't want that. Um, what did I just call that? Class? I called it, oh, section header. So let me give this section header Actually, I'll call it section header text because it's not the whole header. So text, section header text, and I'm going to give it a font size of 20 pixels. All right. 
Sweet. I think that looks a lot better for these section headers. Okay. And then the sections pop out. I think that looks pretty good. It seems pretty intuitive. You don't need to click on this arrow over here. You can just click here. All right. Now I have to hook up these buttons. So the edit and the delete. So, um, okay. So the delete's easy, easier anyway. So why don't I start with the delete? And let's see. So what did I do here? Oh yeah, I just cleaned up that file. All right, so for delete in my sections, I need to add a function here and pass it the section number, the section index, which is this. Um, so here, I'm gonna call this delete section, delete, or hand, should I do it handle delete? Cause in view X, I'm probably gonna call it delete section so yeah, I'll do handle, handle delete. Eventually I want to have a confirm delete, like a confirm window pop up, I think. Or maybe I'll do that now. I'll do toggle confirm delete. When you start making sections of code into a new component, and when does it start becoming overkill? I think thing I don't like about Vutify is too much nesting just for a simple UI component. Yeah, that's um, kind of how HTML just works in these frameworks now. Because you need, well, it's I guess it's the container system because you have containers and then you have uh, rows and then columns, handle X. That's true. I probably got it from using React. Hi, Hayden. How are you? Yeah, so it's kind of, I think, from f the Flexbox type styling. And um, yeah, I know it's kind of annoying, but I think, well, CSS, not CSS classes. Uh, what is it? Oh, CSS grids fix that because you can tell it where to put things on the page instead of nesting. So like right now we nest column, row, no, no, no. We nest container, row, column, row, column, row, column. But then we'll just have container and items, which will be much nicer. Um, honestly, I so I tried out portals now and it, I don't know. I guess some people use them for, um, different things on the page. I haven't really used portals because anything, um, what, I think it was, to what was I doing with them? Toaster notifications or something? And I just, you know, I had an easier time just putting them inside my view application and putting them on global state. Maybe I'll run into them in the future, but since most of the view applications I've worked on, I've designed, I haven't use them much. Um, if you have a use case that you've used portals for, let me know. Okay, toggle confirm delete. And this will pop up a confirm box. So I need to make this method down here. Um, methods. And then toggle confirm delete and um, do I need to pass in the index here? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. Anyways, I'll capture it. It's a teleport component. All right. So 
um, toggle confirm delete and then I need some kind of delete confirmation box so let's see what Beautify has for that um, they don't what what would I call it in Beautify like um, not confirmation but is it a modal? Is everything just a modal? Oh, everything's a dialogue now, right? Everything is a V dialogue. I accept. Okay, so that's exactly what I want, I think. Let me see. No, it doesn't. Um, is there anything else I need? Full screen, open on hover. I could probably do full screen on mobile. but I will do that later. It's not dismissible when touching outside. Okay, yeah, why don't I use this one? Yes. Yes, um, Beautify is material design, as you probably could tell. Okay, V row, here's the V dialog. So let's copy this. And let me let me see. Okay, so they have um, this Boolean set. Yeah, so I just need this one Boolean for open close. And so I'll put this just I guess at the beginning, or at the end, sorry, of here. And then let's see, dialogue. Let me find and replace that for dialogue. Is it only, oh no, I already have a dialogue object. Um, oh right, because edit items is already in a dialogue, so. I'm going to have to just here um, let's see what should I call it delete dialog show delete dialog okay so show delete dialog I have that here and now I need it, well, I'm going to have to add state here. So let's put data and then return an object. Oops, not that. Uh, let's say show delete dialog and then this will be false. Oops. All right, so show delete dialog and then toggle confirm delete. So this will be, um, so I guess I should save the index. So should I, is that what I should be doing? Oh, hi, Michael. I didn't realize it was you. How are you? Um, okay, so let me just play this out. So if I save the index, uh, confirm delete. No, no, no. Or current. Or no, I should say section index. Section index. Or selected. Maybe I'll do selected index. What about selected index? And. I guess I'll initialize that as null. I don't like that. Um, so here, and then I would set this dot selected index to the whatever index they clicked on. <laughs> awesome. View is pretty great. It took me a while to get into it though. It took me, um, 
well, you know, picking it up, putting it down, then re-looking at it, and then I started to really like using Vue a lot. You're teaching React, right, at egghead.io? Are you, is that um, what I guess they hired you for was React? So this dot selected index equals index, and now I have to toggle that delete modal. So I'll say show delete uh, dialog equals not, sh oh, this, I forgot this, show delete dialog, and then here. Okay. React and JS. Oh, cool. I didn't realize they did AWS. I'll have to check it out. Um, does it though? Because, I mean, you use Element UI, right? Instead of Beautify. The thing is, what in the world? Open dialog. Oh, oh, right, right. <laughs> I have to change that, that open, I added the open button because I copy pasted from the example. So let's see. So should I, so I just want it to be toggled based off of this. So let me get rid of this template and see. Okay, so like today, so I do consulting work today and, you know, for a little while now, I've, I've done some custom things in jQuery recently, and I was just like, man, I'm so happy that I normally get to use a design framework because it's so difficult to style without a framework. CSS is just, I think, the hardest thing for me. I try to avoid it and then it keeps coming back to me. Oh, wait, show delete dialog. So let me see. Awesome. Oh, it opens too. So I have to stop propagation, I think, stop the event bubbling to stop this from opening. So I live stream Vue.js every, uh, every Friday right now, but I want to start doing two of these a week. I've been doing Python live streams on Sunday but I'm having a little bit of trouble because of the lag and because I have a guest on and the lag combined with working with someone else is a little bit weird. So uh, I might change how I do that, um, but I'm not sure yet. Like I might do it inside an editor because another problem is when you have a guest on a live stream, you know, how do they type? And if there's a lag, they're telling me what to type but I don't get it for, you know, five seconds. So it's really strange. So I'm going to, I'm trying to figure out how to do that better. CSS framework. Okay. So what's your favorite CSS framework? Like, this foundation, bootstrap, tailwind, um, what's the other one? Takeons. I don't know anymore. I usually use, I guess, foundation. Okay, so let's see. VS Live Share. Yes, I should use that. That's a very good idea. Because I've been doing Code Wars and. Oh yeah, stop propagation, stop propagation. Okay, I've been doing code wars with them, but maybe I'll copy the code wars algorithm and then put it in VS Code and do VS Code live share. I might try that. Yeah. I've, I tried it before, with, well, with a student and it did work pretty well, but the voice didn't work. So we had to connect via voice on Discord or something else. But yeah, thanks. That's a good idea. Okay, so at click, so I'm going to have to stop propagation here. So let me do dot stop. And now 
Um, so Michael, coming from React, what do you think about uh, the view setup more? I guess this stuff is more Angular-ish. Lots of skins for it. Tailwind is a complete nightmare, never again. Bulma is fine, anything like that. Okay. Bulma's pretty basic. Bootstrap, I've run into a couple things that I really wish Bootstrap had and doesn't have, so maybe I'll have to try, I don't know, Bootstrap with plugins or something. Okay, so now I have stop propagation, so it still opens. So how do I get it to not open? Um, I guess I can see where the event is going. Um, so if I click on this, I thought I had an events. So yeah, how do I fix this? Um, will I see it in here? Let's see. Yeah, it's still giving me other events. Why is it doing that? Data flows. Um, what do you mean by data flows? Like in component? I guess in component. That's the only thing I've been doing this stream so far. It does have two-way data binding in view, which React doesn't have. And it's kind of different because you're adding um, directives into the HTML. Uh, let's see. The why are these triggering? These aren't supposed to be triggering. Does anyone know why this is happening? Because I'm, st I'm stop stopping the propagation. Um, so I have this click mouse event, which goes from the expansion panel to the header. And then that should be when this opens. But for some reason, I'm getting it to where the expansion panel also opens. Oh right, two way is only in V model, but it does have two way uh, for modeling, yeah, data from JavaScript to the DOM. Yeah, Angular does have a lot of directives, a large, a larger API. I don't know if they've changed it recently. There are so many Angulars that have come out now. Does anybody know why this is? So, so I'm clicking on vCard on, oh, that's when it's open. Expansion panel, expansion panel header, and then it, why isn't it stopping? Should I stop immediate propagation? Is that what I need? Or is it stopping too late? Is this too late in the game, I guess? Or what if I, what if I move the Z index of this to, no, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, what do I put? Stop, oh wait, stop just does immediate propagation too. Never mind. Okay. Um, oh well, I mean, that's a bug, but it's a bug that still allows it to work, so. Did you, did we fight about that? I can't remember. We might have. Not, we didn't fight, we probably went back and forth. Um, okay. So anyways, let me hook up, um, oh yeah, let me hook up this. So obviously change the modal 
to be a little bit nicer there. Uh, let's scroll to the bottom where that modal is here. So headline. Um, do you really do really want to delete this section? Okay, and then get rid of that. Um, so it's persistent and let's see, can cancel, meaning they don't want to delete. And then this one is I really don't remember that conversation. Of course, now I've done like 60, maybe 60 live streams, maybe more now. I can't remember. Delete. Oh, cancel or confirm. Yeah, that makes sense. So you can cancel or confirm. Let's see how that looks. Do you really want to delete this section? Cancel or confirm? Maybe opening is okay. No, because then if it's open and I click this, it closes. That's weird. Okay, so cancel closes it. And now if they hit confirm, I need to do something. So let's see. In the button, let me do at click. Confirm should be. Still have access. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Do you not like something that I did? Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, show delete dialogue. Yeah, Jared, I'm not sure why it, I'm making you cry. Okay. So I need to um, confirm delete. Is that what I should say? Okay, confirm delete. And then confirm delete, which will basically take this index. Oh, okay, that's why I don't know what it is. Hi, Kim. Thank you. How I'm going to solve this or this propagation? I'm, I'm probably going to put off the propagation for later. And um, yeah, just work on the CRUD operations for now. Oh, okay. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm not that good with pop culture. Uh, confirm delete. So I need to call a Vuex function for my global state. So I'll, what should I call that? I'll call this dot delete section, delete section. And then I need to pass it a payload. Um, so actually I'll need to pass it uh, the ID of the curriculum that I'm in, which is this ID because I'm viewing a single curriculum. And then I need to pass it the section ID that of the section I want to delete as well. Okay, so let me get let me make a payload object first. So const payload equals um, how do we get the curriculum ID? So in this section selected curriculum object, I think I have invalid event handler for at click. Confirm delete is not defined. Okay, I fixed that. The invalid event handler. I think I know what I'm doing, but I'm going to delete that for now. Um, what was I just doing? Oh yeah. So I, I was looking in the Vuex DevTools. 
so. Um, sorry for mis propagation. I'm, well, I'm calling, I only make API calls from UX. So I'm going to call an action, but, oh yeah, I have to look at the component state. And I don't know why, but this doesn't seem to zoom in. Vuex DevTools, how do I zoom in here? Um, I guess you might be able to see, but I'm just looking through some in my display curriculum component. Let me go into sections. And then I have selected curriculum object. Okay, so it is from Mongo, so it's the underscore ID. And that will be the curriculum ID here. So let me set curriculum ID to this dot um, selected curriculum dot underscore ID and then what's the other one? Oh yes, section ID is this dot um, no, that's the index. So I need the ID for the section. So Oh yeah, I can just get that off of here. So I can do like a dot find, I guess. Oh, you can't zoom in on Firefox. Oh man, that stinks. It's weird because I can zoom in on every other panel here, but except for the view dev tools. Okay, so I have this array. I'm looking at the array of sections I have. Yeah, and then I have an underscore ID on sections. So I can filter. So I think what I'll have to do is do another const section ID equals this dot selected curriculum dot sections dot find and then in here um, so here oh this should be sections so in here it will be section and then I'll do an arrow function okay so I'm looping through sections I have sections here And hmm. well, actually, I don't even need to loop through. I can just find because I have the index already, so I can just pass in this dot uh, selected index, and then I have that index. So I already have the section that I want. So then the section ID would be section okay so that would be section so I found the section object and then that would be section dot underscore ID okay and then I pass the payload into this dot delete section which is something I haven't made yet um, oh yeah payload okay so I'm passing in the payload and now let me go ahead and import this method I haven't created yet via view x so i'll do map actions to this component and then the action that i want to map is um oh delete section delete section um i haven't namespaced any of my actions yet they're all just in one actions file so far Okay, so close that. So in store, I have actions. Oh, wait, I think I have to, I need to import map actions first. Oh, I already am for some reason. Cool, it must have been old, but good, I'm using it now. So now I have delete section here, and now I just have to create it in my actions. So here are my section CRUD operations. So I have post section, um, 
And then I don't have any more section ones. So let me create delete section here. Um, let's say, oh, it will have to be async because I'm making an API call here. So async delete section and then pull in commit because I'm going to need to mutate the state after. All right, and then so now in here, I'm getting the payload. So first, let me pull what I need to off of payload, which is curriculum ID, um, curriculum ID, because I'm going to need that for the API request and section ID. And that should be it. Don't need a body for delete. So I'll pull that off of payload. Oops. And then, um, okay, and then let me copy Axios request. I can just copy any Axios request actually and just update it. So here I'm going to do delete and I don't actually think I need to, um, save the response here because I don't need it for a mutating state later. So I have the curriculum ID slash sections slash section ID and I'll make the delete request on that. Okay. And then don't need a body. So yes, I don't use comma dangles. Maybe I should be. Um, okay. So I'm doing an this Axios delete request. And let me just double check that I have this API written. I'm pretty sure I wrote it already. So in curricula, so I have, oops, let's see. So ID section, so it would be right here. Okay, so I do have delete here, which um, finds and deletes. Um, so in Mongo, you can, Mongo, you can use this, or Mongoose, I guess, you can use the dot remove method, but if it's nested, so because I only have one, um, what do you call it? Not table, I'm drawing a blank here, but you know, like a table, because I only have one for curriculum, it's nested inside of an array. So I think I have to do pull here to get it by the section ID, which is fine. If it's on the root level, I think you can just do dot remove. Um, but that's why I have this code here. So um, yeah, so this API should work. And I'm making the call here. So yeah, let's see if it works. And then I'll hook up the mutation after when my Beautify course is coming out. Um, what day is it today? April 24th. So I'm hoping that it will be ready in the next week. Like I said, I've already recorded 10 videos and I have, I have all of the content done. I have all of the scripts done. I have everything ready. Um, so I'm hoping that sometime around the end of this month that it'll be ready. And then it's just up to Scrimba to, you know, put it live. Um, oh, um, Mondays, now that I'm not publishing the podcast, I'll be publishing Vue.js videos every Monday too. So those will come out on my channel. Um, okay. So what was I? Oh yeah. Okay. So I click this. So I have Vue basics here. Oh, let me delete number two actually, because we don't have anything in here. So confirm. Did it go? I forgot. I didn't close this modal after, but that's fine. Um, okay. I need to look at the network request. So it doesn't seem like it did anything. Oh yeah. Section is undefined. So I have an error here. 
section is undefined in confirm delete. So let's see. This dot selected curriculum dot sections. Let me just see if I'm thinking about this the right way. Let me navigate to that. So I have selected curriculum object here. Yes, document. Is it document? So, oh, it's a collection collection of documents. Yeah, thank you. Um, usually I just call everything a table, but I know that's not the correct term. Can you? Okay, I got that. Okay, so I have my selected curriculum object, and then I have the sections array here, and then I have all the objects inside here. So it's saying that section is undefined. Um, let me see if selected index is ever properly set. Let me look here. Um, oh, those are props. Oh, selected index is a mouse event. Wow, okay. That's because I'm not passing anything in here, actually. Um, okay, so toggle, confirm, delete. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not passing in anything there. So I need to pass in the index of the section. So that should be good. Let's see if that works. <coughs> what do you what do you mean in component error handling? Like error bound error boundly <laughs> error boundaries or try catch or middleware um <laughs> watching other people debug is it okay let me delete section three okay what happened okay no errors that's good it made my api requests that's good that's great response Response is good, it means it deleted it. Okay, so uh, unfortunately I have to go back out here. Yay, it deleted it, now there's only 11 sections, sweet. Okay, so now what I need to do, the first thing is I'm not closing the modal after. Oh, I can't believe it's been an hour already. Man, this these streams just fly by. I'm gonna have to leave in a second. Okay, confirm delete, this.delete section, cool. Um, so for right now, I'm just gonna make the modal just straight up close. So this dot, um, to uh, toggle confirm delete. Um, oh, wait, if I'm not passing in an index, I should say, null I guess that's fine yeah so I'll put toggle confirm delete I'll call that and that should close the modal um, yeah or I could just I mean update it directly here but I'll call the method for it okay so that will close the modal when I delete something. And I also need to update something like, oh, lifecycle hook for errors. Uh, no, I don't think so. Hi, Eddie. You actually missed pretty much the whole stream. Um, this is coming toward the end of the stream, but it will be up on YouTube if you want to watch it. Um, yeah, usually I try to do an hour and a half, but I have something after this, so I have to hop off in a second. All right, toggle confirm delete, and then go to actions, 
delete section. Yeah, so here I need to make a mutation. So I'll need to use that commit and then I'll need to say, um, remove, I guess, remove section. And then Um, I'll, yeah, I'll pass in the section ID and that should be all that I need to remove the section. And now if I go into, uh, mutations, I have update section here. So I'll just do remove section and then, okay. Um, what am I doing? So state, and it's not really a payload object, it's just an ID, so section ID, and then, oh right, I'm splicing there. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing actually. Curriculum ID and body. Oh, this is where I'm adding, I'm adding a section here. So here I need to remove a section. So I'm gonna do, yeah, I will need to pass in the curriculum ID actually. So I'm gonna need a payload, oh well. So I'll need a payload and then I'll do the section ID and then I find the index of the curriculum and then I need to find the index of the section to splice out, basically. So I'll copy this one too. So I'm finding the index of the, yeah, I'm going to clean these up and combine them later on my bucket list of cleanup tasks. Cool. Is it confusing? Let me know if you have any questions. You can reach out to me. Oh, perfect. I have a link to my Reddit below. So if you have any questions about Vue, Vuex, just post them on my Reddit. It's in the description. Yeah, nobody's is a Vue master too. Um, okay, so I have the section index, sections.length. Um, I, actually, I don't need the length for this, so get rid of that. And, oh, let me, I'm not passing in the right payload. Let me fix that real quick. So I'll just pass in the payload straight because that has both things that I need. Okay. It doesn't, sometimes it doesn't like my Vim my Vim key strokes in here. That's fine. Okay, so state dot curriculum. Okay, I'm finding the C index dot sections. And then in here is where I have to insert. No, 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 I'm splicing them out of sections. So I don't need to dot splice. And then here is where I have to do the section index and then remove one and then I don't want to add anything in. So that should work. Let me see if this works in the remove section. I should code fold all this other noise, I guess. Yeah, that's better. So now it's just the function that I'm working on. All right, let me try to remove a section real quick. <laughs> Test section. Yay, it removed in place. And now I have 10. Let me remove another one. Testing mutations. Sweet. Section seven. Of course, now all the numbers are off. So I've been removing them. But these were just like test ones anyway. Yay, awesome. So happy about this. All right. Stop my Vue.js server. I'm gonna see what I need to commit. Okay, modified files only. 
So I'm going to do commit dash am. Let's see, what's today? The 25th live stream code from April 25th. Git push. Yeah. What I've learned so far is setting up service and then getting that in component. But those things of commit, I get lost. Sweet. 24 hours? Not sure what that means. All right. So, yeah, thanks for tuning into the live stream. Don't forget to check out my Reddit channel or my subreddit in the description below. Post any questions, topics, you know, whatever you want in there because it's more long form interaction. So, I think that's going to be great. Oh, today is the 24th. Oh, oh well, I'll fix it after the stream. I got to run. Hey, thanks for coming. It was great to see all of you. It was great to see you too, Michael. Have a good night.